Okay, I'm doing some more found objects today. Uh, I went through my junk drawer and I always put stuff away in a little shoe box beside my table inside. <coughs> Things I might want to use. I'm going to be using one of these mats that I found at, I think it was right up in Walmart. Uh, they were on like 70% off sale, so uh, they were pretty cheap. No, actually it was um, Kroger's, my grocery store. And they were 70% off, so they were like a couple bucks. There was four of them. They were nice plastic. I'm going to put these two aside for later in the year when I do workshops. And I took one of them and I cut it just to make it easier to do. Plate size. And then I kept one of the edges for edge decoration. So that's in my box. I have a little piece that I cut of the non-skid that you can buy. I think you can get it at the dollar store. And I'm going to use this. This is a dollar store find that I've used before, but I just need some squares and I didn't have anything that was the right size. So what I found for found objects. This is from a Chinese takeout. One of their little sushi boxes. This is a pie tin. Uh, I found an old dowel. This is from a wedding we went to recently. I'm going to reuse it. This is uh, those like tidy bowl things. This is the bottom of the packaging. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see it when I print it. I got some spools from my sewing supplies. I haven't looked at my sewing supplies in a while, but I found a few things. Interesting spools to use. I've got some feathers. Somebody gave me a bag of feathers and I grabbed some. I have this packaging. I don't even know what it was, but it's like a cross and it looks interesting. This came from my sewing and I got a thimble from my sewing and I got some old spools. They're not the kind that, that my new machine uses, so I can use them all up. And I got this card, which I haven't even looked at, but I just pulled it out. But it has um, some lace and some very weird looking little trim that I'm going to try using. And I don't know how well this lace will go. It has little, let's pull it out, it has little um, sparkles on it. But we'll see what that does. But that's what I'm going to use for my found objects. And for paints, I'm going to use Amsterdam Sap Green, uh, Blue Green, what else is Amsterdam? These are ones I've been using, Turquoise Blue, and this is a new one. This is a transparent yellow. I didn't have a transparent yellow. I wanted to see what it would do, but it's a yellow medium. And of course, Stand by the White. And then in Liquitex, I'm going to be using the Quinacridone Magenta. I think that's the only Liquitex. Iteza, I'm going to be using the Cochineal Red, Indian Yellow. And this is a brand I don't... Her, Heritage, Multimedia, Quinacridone Gold. I'm just trying it out. I, have, I don't think I've used it before. And with the Artist, the Master's Touch Acrylic, I'm going to be going with Orange. And as you can see, I use any kind of paint that's going to work for me, I'll use it. And I, under Golden, I'm going to be using the Turquoise, Thalo Turquoise, because it is so transparent, I love it. So I've got a couple of transparent ones that I'm going to mix with. And it's important to know whether your paint is transparent or semi-transparent, depending on what you're doing. Today we're just testing stuff out, so. And I'm going to be using my 5x7 to roll up my colors, but I'll be printing from it too. And today to print on, I'm <clears throat> working on a small journal, so I'm using the uh, this sketch pad from the dollar store for my roll-off paper, because I'm going to be rolling off on the paper too. I'm, I just took one of the cheap pads from um, dollar store, cut them into strips, they're just the right size for my rollers, so they don't take up too much room on my work surface. Works better for me. So, let's get started. Let's do a roll-up of something. Uh, let's try this new 
quinacridone. I opened it and took the stuff, the metal thing off, but I haven't really used it that much. And I probably should have put that on there, but... Okay, you're going to stop sliding. I must have to tape you down today. It's very warm out here today, very humid, it just rained, but it's not so warm that I can't work with an air conditioner up. I'm sure you can hear the fan in the background though, I've got a fan way in the distance in the background. Put everything within easy reach. Let's just pull up some of this stuff. I'm just going to use a paper towel to start. Let's just get some lines on there. Now, for pulling up the background, I'm going to use my deli paper, but probably not going to make a picture with it, just pulling it up. Trying to get a little of the background up. Okay, just a little start. Let's get crazy. Notice I pulled out the fall colors and the first thing I threw down here is blue. Huh. Let's see what the Chinese takeout box is going to do. And I did wash these. Well, that is odd. Well, I guess I didn't wash that. Luckily, I'm a wash with paper towels out here. Now, I did a... To the Facebook groups I was on, I sent out a thing seeing if anybody would in, be interested in um, giveaways from this channel. Because I have been given and, and have bought a lot of art stuff in the years. Well, that's pretty interesting. That I will never use. And I don't want to see it go to waste. Okay, this is from that wedding. I'm going to try pulling that up just a little bit. Um, and I got a really good response. So I'm going to start doing giveaways through these YouTube videos. And I think I'm going to do it on the first and third Sunday. Because I went yesterday and this morning and started pulling stuff out. Almost, I have lots of books that need to be passed on. Books on painting and um, designing and collaging and cards and all kinds of books that I've already read. I'm not going to be reading again. So they're kind of a waste for me. And uh, I think somebody would use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mini videos out showing like if I'm going to be giving away stencils I'll do a little mini demo with stencils just in case there's new people watching All right that's a good start can you see that texture from that and the pan did a good texture kind of an odd circle um, and if there's new people watching I want to make sure that they you know know how to use the stuff but I have stencils, I have die cuts that I'll never use, I have stamps that I'll never use, and I'm going to package them up. And, like I said, first and third Sunday, I'll just do a mini video, you know, like a 10 minute video, with a giveaway at the end, and... Well, that's way too much paint. Let's see if I can get rid of some of that. And, um... Uh, I have a, I found a random app that picks the, from the comments below the uh, video, so that'll work out nice. Alright, let's try this. Hopefully the string doesn't get in the way because there's still string on this. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a good pattern. If I hadn't have done too much paint, it would be nice. All right. See, on that one it looks much nicer. Well, we'll figure it out. Now let's try a bit of this. And we're going to pull up some of this onto that last one. I don't know if that lace is going to do much of anything. It might. We'll see. Well, it made a pattern. It's not very good. I guess it's too fine a lace. We'll see when we pull it up. I kind of like what that did. Let's pull it up and see if on the next print if it does anything. And we're going to go back and forth reprinting over these. This is not... I'm not trying to do a one pull wonder. Still don't get much from the lace, but look at those spools. It's a very nice texture with the spools. Well, why don't we pull the end of it up on here? I don't know, this one might be a little dry. It is drying fast out here today, but... Yeah, it pulled up a little, but it's a little bit dry. We'll put something else over the top. Alright, let's go wild here. I just got that green and yellow in the, in the mail today. I'm still getting most of my stuff online when this COVID stuff is over. I do go to the art store though. I haven't in a while. So. And this is all over. Alright, let's try that other string stuff that we got. Just do a little bit down here and see if we can pull this up. No, I don't have it laying flat, so it's not going to be great. Just to see if it does anything. Sometimes when they have like designs, I can get the loops in that to show. But... Oh, now that is pretty. Look at those colors together. Who oh, no. knew? Very pretty. Let's see if we can get this part of it up. I'm neglecting this over here, which I shouldn't, because it's pretty colors. Let's see if we can maybe get it to show the lace. Maybe. It's kind of dark right now, so... I mean, it's kind of dry right now, so it's probably not going to, but... We can get some color up. Yeah, see, maybe if I really scrubbed it. Oh, even really scrubbing it, you're not getting much. Say, so, so that's probably a dud. I'll try it again. We, we don't quit. We don't quit, we just keep trying. Well, it's interesting. Look at that. It pulled up all the what was left on there. Now the reason how this, why this has so much crinkles to it is because it ha had paper stuck to it. And I had uh, done this. And when I did, it kind of like left little cracks. But I actually like what they did, so I'm not arguing with them. It's, it's an old plate. It's not worth fussing over. Okay, now I like what that did right there. I think the second print might be the one for that. I'm not worrying about what it's doing on the first one. Alright, so what haven't we used? I haven't used any of this blue. Let's do this with that new green I've been wanting to try. Odd. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think those lines will come off eventually when I recondition it with uh, some baby oil, but for now I kind of like what they're doing, so I'm not going to argue about it. It will do what it does. I think in the middle we're going to put some of that transparent yellow to see if it's really that different. I haven't been happy with the stuff I've done in yellow lately. Way too much paint. I don't know how many times a day I say that. But. I don't want it too mixed. I don't want a flat color. So I like what that did with the little... Alright, yes, I know it's too much paint, but we'll see. We can get some good stuff over this other stuff. Now, what didn't I use? I didn't use this little packaging thing. And I... Honestly, it's some kind of... I think we were trying to fix a little doggy gate we have with something that it ended up didn't working. But, alright, we're going to pull new because it's just way too much paint and then we'll try to go over it with something opaque later, maybe some black or something. Just going to pull up a tad bit of it. We're not trying, I didn't even push down. Oh, that is pretty. But can you see the ripples? That's telling me it's way too much paint. Let me see if I can get like in that corner. Up there. But we'll put that over to the side and go over it with something else later. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, pull it up on its own. Then go over it with something later. So it's going to be way too much paint. Very nice. I actually like what that does. We have to do a way too much paint session, which is usually what I do, so I don't know why. Alright, let's get it through one of these mats. See how much I can get through this. Onto tissue. About this tissue that I had been using. See if we can pull some of it up through there. Now that plastic is going to pull a lot of that color off there, but there ain't much I can do about it. Depending on what material you use for your stencils and your masks, you'll leave more or less. And it's not coming up, but it will leave a pattern. And actually I could just lay this mat down on something and make a nice print, but I'm not going to do that today. Alright, let's see what this does onto here. And I'm not using all my colors, am I? Wow, I don't like that. To a point. So I'm going to take the point I don't like and put it on here. Pull up some more color. But isn't that pretty? It's interesting. It would be a good background for an abstract. Very nice start. And we'll put that over there with those that I'm not going to be doing anything right now with. Alright, I've used this. Use the magenta, the orange. I didn't really get a good take on this yellow, so let's do the yellow again. Boy, I could get go through the hard, hardware store with a hundred bucks and get enough stuff to to never have to buy a stencil or a texture tool again. Which I don't buy them anymore anyways, but I wish I'd known that when I was starting out. 
Now, I don't think the transparent's going to show up on here. We'll see. We'll see if it'll even do anything. No, it did leave, but it doesn't show the feathers, but it did leave a pretty color. I like that. It added something to it. But these feathers are not very good. I think I need, well, bigger feathers. These were a given. So, gotta learn to say no thank you, I can't use that, or I wouldn't have 8 million things to give away now, I guess. But yeah, these feathers don't work worth a darn. Don't bother with me. Get some more yellow on that page, though. Yeah, the transparent yellow actually does a little something. I like that. Alright. I need some dark blue in that one over there. I'm aiming to do ten sheets. I Usually if I need two, I want to do ten. And then the leftovers will be, of course, um, things to use with collage, or I have a box of ones that are going to eventually, all right, this is the bathroom tabs, that are going to eventually be um, maybe small journals or backgrounds for something. And let's do our thimble. Oh, the thimble makes a lovely circle. You knew it would, right? It's just the right size rim for that size circle. I'm really liking that. And I got this dowel with the intention of using the end to make squares. And it appears to work pretty good. Well, that's going in my forever box. I have a box, if I, I do something like this and I find something that I'll I go back to, I have a box of just that stuff. So that I know the stuff I love will be on hand. Oh, and that does nice. Look at that. Doesn't when it's dry, but on this one that's still slightly damp, it's doing real good. Look at that. Let's pull that up on its own so we can really see what's going on there. And I'm not pushing down real hard, just a little bit. Just want to see what the impressions are. Ooh, look at that. Circles and more circles. And that little, I don't know, toilet paper, uh, not toilet paper. It's um, those little tablets you put in the back of your toilet makes the water blue. That's what it is. That's the package it came in. Came in a two pack. And that's what it looks like. Lovely. Let's do something on either side of that. Oh, here it is right here. The little blue bowls. If you get them. Perfect. All right. Let's magenta this up on this end. And we'll use the other red, the cochineal red on the top. And we'll just make it red and blue. I'm going to try and pull something off this one. I keep neglecting that one. And by neglecting it, I'm just letting it dry. And it's not doing... Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that tissue one, just pull up this little corner bit. Which is going to pull up a lot of the magenta because it's really wet. But see how pretty that is? And then we're going to flip it around. the circle patterns here with this little mat. We just need a little pressure. So I don't really want to pull up as much of the paint as I just want to. 
there. That's exactly what I wanted. And we will go over this one. I'm not worrying about lining up either because what I'm going to be doing with this, I can throw these feathers out. They are terrible. Um, this is not going to be a precise thing where you need precise alignments. Oh, that's not bad, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. I wish it was a little darker here, but I can go back over it later. All right, let's put something on it and just pull this up in its entirety, I hope. Let's do white. And like I I'm neglecting that again. <sighs> I'm just not focused today. My mind is spinning with all the stuff that I managed to pull out from that giveaway. Oh my goodness, I have so many stencils. <clears throat> I don't usually buy stencils. As a matter of fact, I've almost never bought them. But there was a lady locally a couple years ago that did a garage sale and it said craft stuff. So I thought, mm, I'll go. Well, what he didn't say was it was her mother's craft stuff from 40 years. And her mother obviously was a shopper. There were boxes and boxes of stencils. I bought, I got the box home and uh, realized that I had over a thousand dollars worth of stencils. I had the larger 12 by 12s that are, I think back then they were at 10 or 12 dollars, cheapest, and I had hundreds of them. So I have been giving them away through the years and I have been using them and I I still have a ton left that I will never use. I like making my own stuff. But I bought all that stuff. I felt bad seeing it sitting there knowing that, you know, she bought that with the intention of using it and didn't have enough life left to use it. And, and that saddened me so much. And I bought a lot of stuff that I didn't, didn't it wasn't even she had you name a craft doll making sewing printing die cutting I got die cuts I didn't even have a die cut machine at the time I just bought a lot of it because I just felt so bad of it sitting there and I knew I could find somebody that would use it and I did give away tons of stuff but I still have tons left so I'm going to slowly be going through that I'm going to be doing workshops uh, probably probably not till next year. So I'm going to save some of it for my workshop because, you know, there are certain things in the batch that I don't use. Like, you know, there were, there's a whole bunch of those, I think, I hope I don't get it wrong, the Jane Davenport, they're the faces that you can stencil in and then do your own work on. There's a bunch of that. I would never use that. I mean, I draw my own faces. I can show you how to make a stencil, and I do. I will make stencils of faces to uh, use in my work because I, because I've been a printmaker, I like doing things over and over again. I like the idea of being able to use a book, something, and do it many, many times. I got that from doing printmaking in college, so I. That's why I make my own stamps and stuff. And you think, well, why would you need another one of those? Well, you never know. That's why I do it. Right, I'm going to try and pull up as much of this as I can because that's some good stuff on the bottom. And then I will leave it for an overnight print. Oh, I love those crackles. They're like, like old skin. Now this I'm not going to... If I left it, I would pull it up whole. I'm not going to worry about it. The white is always... Mm. See, the white is holding it down. Oh, I hate the way it does that. I wish I could find a better white. I have, might be something I work on this year. See how the white is... And yeah, if I put... The, if I let it dry longer and I put some of that uh, conditioner, that paint retire in it, it would work better. But it actually doesn't have a bad look. It has an old peeled wall look when you're done. I like that. I don't like here where it was too thick, but let's see if we can't use this page to pull a little bit of that white up. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, I like that. Actually. And also you could put, I could put a coat of gesso down. Gloss medium. I'm not gesso. Gloss medium down and pull that all up. But I don't feel like it right now. Okay, so let's start. I think we need to put something on the end of this one right here. Or maybe not. We'll leave that for now. Let's do another one. We won't worry about this stuff on the bottom, but I am going to put a little bit of slow drying medium on it. It'll help pull that up. Well, this is acrylic paint retarder. You'll see me use it all the time. I live in South East Texas, and it is hot. And things dry fast. I mean, I'm sure it's not as bad as it is in Arizona, but things dry fast out here. And this kind of helps keep things somewhat predictable. Not really. All right, let's take this back over it. Pull a little up. I'm not trying to really pull it up on the paper. I'm trying to pull it up off the surface. Go back to this. I really like the patterns this does. It does have, you know, the UPC code or whatever it is and all that on it too, but I might take a pair of scissors and cut, cut it into a more distinct shape. not going to do anything. All right. Go back to the dark blue. Make sure I've used everything in my box. Everything. In fact, maybe we'll use everything on one page. We already used that. Pull that up. Oh, I see. Where I put my finger makes a dot. Because it's so thin. How weird. Alright, let me pull this one up. I don't have anything light enough to pull it over, but... Note to self, take your stuff off the pad before you start videotaping. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Gonna be a teal wonder, that page. Um, you know what, I'm actually liking where it's got too much paint. I'm actually liking that effect. It wasn't an intention when I started, but alright, let's do the top part with the Indian yellow. It's a really pretty yellow. I've got some really nice effects with the Indian yellow. Let's get the blue off the sprayer. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, let's go back with this. See what we can do. See, it's too thick to get the stuff out just with a tissue. Or with another page, actually. Unless you do the paint real thick, and I don't want the paint real thick. Although I have been getting some good effects on that, let's see. You'll see I'm just getting, I got some dots the last time, I'm just getting a few dots in it through. But it shows up on your paper very nicely. So I'm just going to keep pulling this stuff off onto this tissue, 
get some good stuff. Oh, let me show you though. See, I'm just pulling it off and pulling it off till I get to the end. And when I get to the end, I'm going to cover it in white and leave it overnight. And see what we get. And I'm not going to worry. Boy, why didn't that yellow come off? I really need my pusher. But I guess it's not out here. Oh, there it is. I have this little tin that I use. It's just a Dove. I think it's Dove. Dove hand cream. What do they call those? A Baron. This is my cheap version. I actually have one. A nice one somewhere, but I don't use it for this. That's nice. And see how you didn't get much of that through, but the pattern shows nicely. Okay. We're going to try that lace one more time. I am so sad that that's not coming out. Have we tried that soft green with the lace? <clears throat> now maybe I'm doing something wrong because I do have some lace that works, but I haven't used it in years. I'm not a lace type person, I guess. And I think the other lace I had might have been like a more expensive real lace, and this is cheap acrylic stuff. So maybe that's what it is. And I should cut this into more reasonable sections, shouldn't I? Let's use a big wad of it and see what happens. probably do two more navy pages. This will be a starter one. I'm going to push down too hard because that has this little, I don't know if they're sequins or, oh, I like little sparkles on it. Yeah, you're not going to get anything from that lace. But if I use a tissue, I might get something from that string better than what I got tissue or a paper towel to push in between everything. It's not going to help the lace any at all. Now I'll probably pull out some of that large lace and work with it because now I'm interested in what I used to get with the lace. And my next found object is going to be, I want to see, because I have lots of old fabric. I used to be in the SCA. And we used to make a lot of costa rings, so I have a lot of old fabric and trim that's just put away. That I want to see what kind of textures I can get from, so that's probably going to be my next found object video. And we'll see how that works. Yeah, put this on the other side. Because I have a lot of corduroy. I'm sure corduroy looks nice. And I don't know if I should like glue it to plates first or try it plain. But I'm going to be doing some printing on fabric. So I figure why don't I see if I can use fabric for the... Oh, I like that. Look at that. See, it's nice the second time. have to do something with this. This is very boring. So let's go for something. I'm always challenged to use red and green and not make it look like Christmas. I did a whole series just challenging myself to do that. And it's just, I found, the addition of something else. Even though they use turquoise for Christmas now and blues, if I added the blues and the turquoise and yellows, it made it something else again. And I like that. So we're going to print this over that, but we're going to get a bunch of it off first. We'll do it with this. Now, if there's anything I pulled out that I didn't use, please tell me. 
I think I used all the found objects that I showed you. Ooh, that's going to have to be put up. That's ick. I didn't. And I used some of them more than once, I know. Oh, I didn't use this spool. I think. I need to put these on the end of something. Because they do make good marks, but they're awkward to use. Uh, the feathers are no good, but I'm not using those. So I think I've used just about everything. Oh, no. So, let's see what we got. Red with the green. And this is my last one, I think. And we'll see what we got. And what I usually do is I'll do a session, kind of look at what I got and decide. Some of them I'll overprint. Some of them I won't. because it's too dry. See, and that's how you do red and green, but you don't get that Christmas Yaha look. It's a sap green and a cochineal red, and you just add the other colors in, and boom. You got rid of that Christmas look. There we go. That's a very nice one. Now, I'll photograph these and put them at the end. Like I said, stay tuned to my videos because I'm going to be doing first Sunday, third Sunday. I'm going to be starting the third Sunday of August, and I'm going to be doing those giveaways. Keep an eye out. There will just be many videos, maybe five, ten minutes. Show you what you're getting. It's going to be... The winner will be chosen from the comments on that particular video. I think I'll give five days, maybe seven days for the, to get the comments in. Uh, I have an app that will be choosing the winner from the comments random. It will filter out any duplicate comments, so only one of your comments is going to count. It's only 18 and over. I will have a list of what I'm giving away and approximate worth, because some of these are older books. that um, Some are out of print books. Uh, so that you'll know what, what it is you're getting. It's U.S. only, because I cannot afford to pay the postage to go to or something to go to Iraq. I mean, I just can't. So, um, and I'm paying the postage for U.S. U.S. only. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. You don't have to subscribe to enter the contest right now. I think that's the best way to do it. I don't want to force anyone to subscribe. Uh, if you like put a, on the video, put a like. And you have a very nice day.